Um, Sanjeev, let's get in your thoughts then, um, given the fact that now, you know, you've got uh, the likes of Elon Musk as well, who's going to be visiting India. How, uh, you know, how are you looking at, there's a lot of rumors and talks with which players he could align with. How are you looking at the overall landscape of different spaces that he could enter, what it could potentially mean for the existing players? So, Avan, firstly, it puts India right in the front of the, uh, you know, global forefront as far as business activity goes. I mean, uh, like I said, you cannot be but present in India and, and you know, it is now, you know, highlighting what Tesla also sees as a big market space. Aside from that, the Starlink exposure could be a huge big game changer on the satellite front. Now, we know Tata Com is one of the biggest players as far as the cable and the network goes. That will be one of the big ones because it comes from the house of Tata's. But I think there will be some big, big name like the Tata's which will be taking the forefront with Elon Musk on a lot of, uh, you know, things related to EVs, related to uh, um, satellite. And uh, th there's a lot of excitement. Now, which company benefits? We will only know it hindsight. But Avani definitely tells us that uh, maybe we are past this correction which was there for whatever reasons. And I think now... At least the Nifty looks poised to regain 22,500, 22,600. So large cap stocks should be the ben biggest beneficiaries as we plow back. And I think uh, metals and commodities are leading. But I think Elon Musk's visit is not just symbolic. It is, it is a showcase, sir, the potential of what our economy holds for uh, investing after the China plus one will be a big, even bigger, uh, you know, icing on the cake.